Hello, my name is Alex, and welcome to Demon Souls 100% trophies, I guess. Uh, this will be cancer. Yes, sure. Don't really need a network right now. This is one of my alternate accounts on PSM because I have some of the trophies already on my uh, main account so I decided to use one of my alternates So naturally we have to make a shitty new character That is a perfect name because this game has some not so fun items to get. We'll be playing while well, starting as royalty. Royalty class has some nice perks in the start. Um, the silver coronet is one of them, and I also get the silver staff, I think it's called. And also, it has some magic stats, which I'm going for pretty early on to get uh, my build going, although it's not anything special really. I think that's just fine. We won't be seeing his face that much. King Aland the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old King Alant had aroused the Old One, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force, and the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land, but none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs, Yurt the Silent Chief, 
Sage Urbane. Skurver the Wanderer. The Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Garl Vinland. And Sage Frake the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Just a quick little information about the Dark Souls 2 run that never really happened. I have all the episodes recorded and shit, but the quality was so crap that there was lots of tearing and many episodes were just gone because of some stupid issues with the recording and shit, so I just got fucking depressed about the whole fucking thing and I never bothered to edit the rest of the videos really and it was just a fucking shit show really uh, which is why well in terms of uh, time frame I believe it's been like over half a year at this point when I'm recording this that I haven't uploaded a video or something. Well, I think there was something I put up like from Dark Souls 1, I believe. But that's really about it. And yeah, the Virgin run really didn't work out too well, so I just gave it up and whatever. So this is my next project that I'll be working on. I will have to see if I actually ever bring it to finish. I hope I do. However, there is a few trophy that I really don't know if I'll be going to grind that much. There is a all unique weapons, I believe. I'm not sure if this game has any unique weapons that only drop from certain NPCs but if it is has, I don't know if I will be able to just farm them for hours and then there's also the all upgrades weapons and it kind of like one of each weapon weapon type to get the trophy 
lähtee sen laidalta. But some of the last upgrade items like the... I don't know actually what the last final upgrade item is called now that I think about it. But anyways, the Dark Souls equivalent of Titanite Slab. One, one of them is especially bad and you can only get it by farming a, a single enemy from a single area and it's a real pain in the ass to get. That's all I know since I only tried to do it for like three hours on my main account. I never got it in that time frame so I just gave up. So we'll see how that goes. I hope I'll stick to it but I won't do any promises. I'll probably only end up missing that that trophy if any of them. I'm willing to do the rest of it. Dark Souls 1 should be interesting too because the all unique weapons that I needed to fully get all the trophies in that game also includes a piece of shit weapon that you can only get by farming but at least it's a little bit better than the upgrade item you need here okay it's been a while since I last fought this asshole so I guess I'll try to focus maybe let's hope I can kill him So the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. This is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not exit the Nexus, but each of the five archstones will connect it. stuff and the tutorial is a kind of a nice piece of content that fits in the first episode I guess 
Irish there, woman, anyway. I don't think she has anything to say. She's just fucking gone. Hello, Depress. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the archstones. Now, go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed boletaria? You came for demon souls? Or to... Uh, it's all the same. We're welcome here. As... <laughs> Creepy laugh souls. You came for... Oh uh, yeah, he doesn't have anything else to talk about. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably be able to do most of these 100% trophies things in the first playthrough in NG, I'll be using dupes um, in terms of upgrade items and uh, the healing grass and uh, spices, but I don't think I'll be duping souls, except after I have killed all the bosses, maybe after that I'll dupe some souls to get my levels up. But uh, during the main game, I think I'll do just a regular no duping souls playthrough. I have never actually done that in this game. I just pretty much instantly dupe me some souls after I got the uh, option to do so. I don't know. It takes a while. You need at least beat one one first but anyway uh, I'll see you in the next episode I guess uh, I don't remember where you do your chesters or maybe my button just doesn't work gestures doesn't seem to work I was gonna do a fancy bow but whatever okay so see you in the next one I guess so bye bye